everyone, Coach Sullivan again with MJS Coaching Football. My background is my 38th year coaching football. I've either been a defensive, offensive, or special teams coordinator, as well as a head coach at both the collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation, I want to talk to you about one of our field boundary pressures coming from the boundary. Okay, this is uh, our combo pressure versus one wide receiver coming from the boundary that we call Baltimore. Okay, so, you know, B Baltimore, B boundary, we do that on purpose. And as it says up here, the ball has to be on the hash. I just think tangible landmarks are very helpful, whether they're 23 years old, 18, 15, whatever the age is, it's just that much easier. Ball's on the left hash, big fields to our right, boundaries to our left. So when I signal pointing at the ground way out to my side here, the kids already know that's a lucky, lucky, lucky. Okay, it's coming from the boundary, and then they're just waiting for the call. Okay, so when I signal Baltimore, and that one word tells them the front, the stunt, the coverage, everything, one word. Okay, so we are in our base 3 four fifty front, the thing they love to be in. Our alignments are all the same. Everything is on purpose the same, which is our disguise. Ball on the hash, safety on the hash. So in this case, it's the whip. When the, uh, the safety to field lines up, in their normal alignment rules. So in this case, it's one by 12 Ike on number two, okay? So in the right top right corner, quite simply, the same uh, combo concept versus one ride receiver into the boundary, the rule is the corner blitzes, okay? So the term we use is Colorado because it could be, it's not specific to the boundary, it could be the field, okay? So just Colorado, it's the corner on the side of the call. All right, so hopefully that makes sense, right? C, Colorado, C, corner. In this case, it's the boundary. So what ends up happening is both safeties on the snap wait till the snap of the football. We don't tip our hands. They rotate on the snap. If you see my three-by-one playlist, you'll learn about what the clamp technique is. Bottom line, the safety stays at 12, and on the snap rotates over, and they play – uh, hot on number one from depth at 12 yards. And I'll just tell you the story right now. 2014, we're playing Coast Guard Academy. We called Baltimore. Ball was on the left hash. We were, the ball was on their 25-yard line. We had them second and 10. Their tendency was to throw the football, throw a hitch into the boundary. We got this, right? So we run it. The cornerback comes, he gets all kinds of pressure, gets his hands up, actually deflects the ball, okay, a little bit. <clears throat> but the bottom line is our safety was screwing down 100 miles an hour. The receiver caught the pass, just spun to the outside and was gone, touchdown. <laughs> okay. We do not care if they catch a hitch. We'll rally up and make a good sure tackle. Okay, we'll take the gamble. I'd much rather that than have screwing down as fast as possible and have it go the other way for six points. Okay, so that's why we do it. So <clears throat> simply put, it's a go. You know, if you see my combo family playlist and my go family playlists, it gives you all the details. But the end on the side of the call is slant and B. Nose goes to the call, slant and A. So the lucky Ringo is to the go side. The combo is a A-gap plug by the inside linebacker opposite the lucky Ringo. Okay, so this is a cowboy with a bill. Again, see my plug playlist. So I have all these playlists, but that's where you'll get the, the information from. And it's very simple for us to combine because these are our base blitz families that they've learned from day one of install and we wrap it a part of every single game plan to, in, to some degree. So they're very, very comfortable executing this. Okay, reason why we would call this is because it's a formational, balls on the hash. They have boundary and big field tendencies. So for me to dictate it's going to be a dime combo or a rover combo may not always work. It might be much better to just call one of our boundary concepts, 
which in this case we call Baltimore. And then the formation dictates with one wide receiver, five yards or wider from the tight end, who the blitzer is, who's available. There is a big difference. When we designate who's blitzing, it may not be the best situation depending on the formation. Okay? The formation with the wide receivers, our kids are taught, who is available to blitz, who's in the best position to blitz, and then allows us to cover things up, okay? And just a quick note, as it says, and also in the top left, the rover's hot in the tight end, and the rover also has uh, contain force orbit, even though he's not detached, because the go technique, I don't mind telling you, run two, he's a spill, run away, he's a bend and chase, only in past does he become contained and see my Go Family playlist. All right, as always, please, any questions at all, reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com. I hope you subscribe to, my, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'd love to talk football with you.